Hi anyone, this is Victoria Harrington and this is Visually Happening. Um, so this week I will be reading an original piece that I wrote as a part of my visually speaking portion of this channel. So I hope you enjoy and this is Overthinking. How do we draw the line of overthinking and just plain old thinking? Overthinking has a tendency to abruptly sneak on you, like when you're driving on the highway for the first nice day of the year. No traffic, the windows are down, and it's almost like the radio read your mind and plays that song you just loved in high school. And before you can breathe in the fresh air and nostalgia, a pair of red and blue lights flash at you because you've rushed through all the good too fast and now you're a menace to society. Now everything you felt before has been squashed and shamed because you've been reminded that feeling too good will make you dangerous. So how do we learn for the next time? Because I can't listen to Mr. Brightside when I drive anymore. Because I can't figure out if I've been thinking a lot about you lately actually means, hey, I haven't had sex in a while and we used to do that, so you want to do that again? Because sometimes it does. And then one day you're saying bye to someone you've known for almost a month who's only going on for two weeks, and all the overthinking and pop-up songs and double-meaning phrases are clouding together, and the fog is coming, and the driver helps them pack their bags into the car, you're thinking of what you can say next, how to send them off because you can't bear the thought of looking stupid. And you've looked stupid so many times, and you've said stupid things so many times. Because the first saying, I like you after two months, was too sharp, and then saying, I want to be with you after five months, was way too sudden, and then confessing, I love you, after almost a full year, was just, ooh, not what they were looking for going into this. So you analyze and you analyze and you rehearse and you rehearse so much that anything you say now will sound and even feel insincere and that makes it suck even more because you are sincere. You are swept and you are smitten so much so that the terror of your last lessons have determined everyone you will and maybe already have met. But we're supposed to learn from our lessons, right? The driver is shutting the trunk now and we're supposed to take our fuck ups, our hiccups, our stutters, our back steps into account because we didn't do that the first, second, and trillionth time around. So to not ruin this one like you have time and time again, you have to be. It's imperative to be smart about this one. The fog keeps rolling closer and happiness doesn't make you smart, nor does rage, nor does envy, nor does any solid untapped emotion because logic, reason, and sense makes you smart. But look at you. Jesus, how did I come into your range of appeal? How did I stop you in your tracks? How have you tolerated my uninterrupted, mesmerized, and honestly childish gaze over your stories and adventures when my stories haven't even begun yet? While I still look for my chapter one, you've already pulled me closer in to get a better listen to my attempt to find anything interesting about stupid me, and I won't find anything because I can't hold a candle to someone who is responsible for my flame in the first place. I'm afraid you've exacerbated my flame for so strong that you are now opening your door and my face is blank. It's murky black because I've expanded ten seconds into a billion thoughts and your face is so full of color, a beautiful swirl of every kind of hue. And while I pull apart each shade trying to decipher which one is making you as nervous as I am, the fog is finally solidified to a darkness so thick that I didn't even see you take me by the eyes and say I'm going to miss you. So that's it for this week. Um, I'll be posting another story of mine next month, but something is coming next week, so please stay tuned. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already, pretty please, and I will see you guys soon. Thank you.